G'day guys, welcome to this Wednesday edition of the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. And if you enjoyed today's video, remember to smack that like button, just smack it. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get into the gaming news with our first news report of the day coming from Sony. And as you guys know, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One are not backwards compatible. Now, Sony has announced that Gaikai, their new service, will be coming to PlayStation 4 in 2014. They haven't specified when in 2014, but it looks like a March release date could be very possible. Along with Gaikai, Gaikai coming to the PlayStation 4, it's also going to be coming to the PlayStation Vita. Now, if you don't know what Gaikai is, it's going to basically allow you to play a bunch of games from the PlayStation 3 on your PlayStation 4, and also on the PlayStation Vita for some games too. Now, the thing is, this means that it is kind of backwards compatible, and games that are critically acclaimed are going to be on this list, which I'm guessing are going to be games like Uncharted, The Last of Us, you know, those first party titles that are really big blockbusters. But in addition to that, Sony has also previously stated that they want to actually bring in third party games and this would actually mean games like Grand Theft Auto 5 so next year that means that we could be seeing GTA 5 on the PlayStation 4 this is pretty awesome news but it isn't confirmed just yet Sony's obviously confirmed Gaikai coming out next year but they haven't confirmed a list of games coming out also another thing to point out is that Gaikai is a cloud streaming service which means that you're not actually downloading games but you're streaming them kind of like Netflix does TV and movies so you don't really own this game and there's gonna be like a monthly membership most likely. So yeah, I'm not too sure if this is going to be an awesome service or not, but I'm looking forward to seeing what Gaikai does bring us. Hopefully it brings us Grand Theft Auto 5, and especially with Rockstar and Sony having such a good relationship, it will most likely be there next year. Because if you do look at games like San Andreas and all that, they always come to the PlayStation Store first. So a digital version on Gaikai on the PlayStation 4 for GTA 5 could be a very big possibility. Anyway, that is it for the opening news of today. And uh, now let's get to some sad news. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? So today's sad news involves this game right here, NBA 2K14. And if you haven't seen the video that everyone is talking about and that I'm about to cover, check it out right now. God damn it. Sort of issues they had on defense. But there's just like, they'll put you in these fucking ridiculous scenarios. They'll be down by like... What?! Technical call for bad language?! Fuck you, Connect. Oh my god! That's ridiculous! I can't curse in my own house. I spent $530 for an Xbox One. And you're gonna penalize me? So there you have it. This guy got a technical foul in NBA 2K14 on the Xbox One for bad language. Honestly, this is just kind of messed up. Like, really? This guy's just letting his frustrations out in his own home, on his own couch, while he's playing his own game, and he gets a tech foul? Yes, that's messed up, but then again, it's kind of realistic. The reason I say that is that there is a good side and a bad side to this. Yes, Kinect and Microsoft are listening for key phrases and things like that, which is kind of creepy, but the thing is, you got to put the blame on 2k sports for this one however you can't really blame anyone for this except for the guy that's getting mad at the game because i'm actually a big 2k player i play 2k 14 all the time and when i have the connect on i'm basically using it to run plays i can set a 2-3 zone or do anything in the offense basically call pick and rolls and things like that tell a guy to shoot when he's open things that you really wouldn't be able to do on the fly while just having a controller in your hand so yeah there's that good side of things where you can use connect alongside your controller while you're actually controlling your player but with that positive side there's always a negative it's got to keep it realistic so basically if you're gonna say fuck you to a player or something you're gonna get a tech foul so this is actually an implementation from 2k sports into the game and not microsoft also as you guys know i do have the playstation it's actually in my my Xbox right now and it also has a camera so it listens to you when you say key phrases so I'm not sure since I only own 2k on Xbox one and I'm not sure if this feature is actually NBA 2k 14 on the PlayStation 4 if it's just on the Xbox one so my point here is that don't blame Microsoft for this this is actually a developer thing and I'm not defending Microsoft in any way as I've said a million times I think it's kind of creepy that they're listening and watching us anyway yeah this guy got a tech foul some people are getting banned on Skype which is kind of weird and overall both the PlayStation and Xbox can listen and watch you at all times. Let me just prove that to you. Xbox, go to TV. All right, as you guys can see, now it's on my PlayStation. PlayStation, Playroom. Killzone. Playroom. Killzone. Start. Uh, see, there we go. Now it's in Killzone. See, it's listening, no hands. Look, Ma, no hands. All right, as you guys can see, Xbox, go home. 
All right, all right, there, there we go. As you guys can see, both systems listen to you and both systems have voice navigation. Anyway, that guy in NBA 2K14, I feel sorry for you and uh, now let's get to the big news. So today's big news is about the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Well, 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 who saw that coming? Anyway, uh, yeah, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One sales are in. Sony has announced that the PlayStation 4 has sold over 2.1 million units worldwide. This is an amazing achievement by Sony. Additionally, my Microsoft has revealed that the Xbox One has sold about 1.6 million units. So this means that Sony leads by about half a million units. Now Sony hasn't actually revealed how many copies of each game has been sold, but Microsoft has provided us this information. In total, there are about 3.2 million games sold in the United States. Now this is for the first two days of the Xbox One being launched, and this is only United States numbers. Call of Duty Ghost is the first with 755,000, Battlefield 4 comes in at 436,000, and then in third place, Forza Motorsport 5 at 355. 5, now I am interested to see what kind of numbers Sony has pulled because obviously Sony has sold more consoles So once that information does come to light at this very time of this filming of this video There isn't that kind of information out right now So yeah, when that information does come around I will report on it and I'm really excited to see what numbers it did for each game Anyway, yeah, that is the news the PlayStation 4 leads the Xbox one by about half a million units and uh, now Let's get to the gorilla man question Sexual man, okay guys, the question is what is the hardest achievement or trophy that you've ever unlocked and why? So get creative with the answer and put it down below in the comment section. You can end up in the next show if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you smack the like button because I'm Chan Chong Max Australia. Yeah, the answer.